The next item is this book. It is a Magyar, M-A-G-Y-A-R, fairy tales. It, it's a book. It's an old, old book. And you can see the condition is not even that great. I'm telling you, she has an eye for finding things. Now, this one is a first edition. It's from 19, the 1930s, and it is rare. She got this for $5 at an estate sale and sold it. For hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, I'm gonna talk to you about big money and unexpected bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. These items come from featured members of this channel. If you would like to join memberships to be in a video like this, you can click that join button below or go down to the description and there is a link that will take you directly there. You need to join at level two. All right, let's get started here. And the first item comes from MSG's Treasures and he is a major bolo finder. You are gonna wanna go over to his YouTube channel and check out what he's sourcing and where he's sourcing it at because he is finding some amazing stuff. The first item he sold is this. Oh, okay. We're going to start with these. These are money clips. And he got these at an estate sale. He paid $5 each. And he sold 10 of these for $159 all to the same person. So they did a bundle deal. But I just kind of want to show you some of the different money clips here that he sold. And again, all to one person for $159. So $5 each and 10 of them. So his cost of goods was $50. He probably could have held out and sold them for more individually to different people. But, you know, just moving inventory quickly is there's a plus to that side of it. So move it quick. All right. The next item he sold is this palm tree. Check it out. And this is Somebody told me how to say it. They broke it down for me, but I think I'm going to say it wrong. Savorsky, Savorsky, I'm not sure. It's a palm tree and it is a figurine. He got this off of high bid. He did pay $35 for it, but it sold for $149.99 free shipping. The next item he sold is this microphone. It's a vintage Heil or Heel, H-E-I-L dynamic microphone with a black leather carry case. He got this at an estate sale for $20, took a best offer of $150 free shipping. The next item comes from Terry, Mindful Recycle, and she is getting close to 2,000 subscribers, so sub her up. Um, I absolutely love her What Sold videos. I just am always in awe of the things she finds. She goes to estate sales and this gal can source like a machine. She is amazing. Definitely check out her channel. All right, what did she find? She found this Dawn Post Halloween mask. And if you wanna learn more about Halloween mask, stay tuned um, or check my channel because I have a video either coming soon or it already posted on Halloween masks to be on the lookout for. Some of them can go for crazy money. And in that video, I teach you what to look for. This item she picked up at an estate sale for $5 and sold it for $249 plus shipping. The next item is this book. It is a Magyar, M-A-G-Y-A-R, fairy tales. It, it's a book. It's an old, old book. And you can see the condition is not even that great. I'm telling you, she has an eye for finding things. Now, this one is a first edition. It's from 19, the 1930s, and it is rare. She got this for $5 at an estate sale and sold it for $169 plus shipping. The next item is this Panda Palace Department 56 Snow Village. So Department 56 ranges from bread and butter to big money, but I will tell you that Terry seems to find all of the big money Department 56. <laughs> oh my goodness. If you watch her channel, you will see so many Department 56 that she buys and sells for crazy money. She got this at an estate sale. She paid uh, 20 or 28, I can't read my writing, and sold it for $249.97 plus shipping. 
Lake Threads is next, and he has a newer YouTube channel, so go show him some love with a sub. Uh, he's also a Bolo finder, finds some really fantastic items. What did he sell? He sold this vintage alabaster uh, ceramics cake plate and dome. It's got the ribbon and bow here. Um, kind of hard to see with the, the line through it. Uh, good old Mercari there. Sold this for $113, and he got this at a thrift store for $20. The next item is this Gen Air uh, fan rocker switch, uh, four tab, three position. Okay, so what he did was, this is fun. He went to a friend's house and he thought, what would Noel Farm Girl Scavenger do? <laughs> so Noel likes to part things out, which I like to part things out too. But um, Noel parted out a Mr. Christmas uh, item and that may be what he's referencing here. I like to part out dollhouses and play sets and stuff like that, vintage games. And he ended up, so his friend was getting rid of their uh, old range and he decided to part it out. He sold this for $67.99. It's just a part of this old range. How funny is that? So shout out to Noelle Farm Girl Scavenger. This is her YouTube channel. Check her out. She is definitely a bolo finder. And she does part things out. But some of the things she sells are absolutely amazing. This is an Orvis perfor ah, performance sport coat. He got this. Um, it says he paid $40 for it. But I'm not sure where he got it. And he ended up selling this for a best offer of $118.99 plus shipping. The next item is this building set. And I have actually sold these before. They are definitely a bolo item. They come in different sizes. So the bigger it is, the more you're going to get for it. But it's Cuba Maze. And it's a stunt set, complete open box, stem toys. He got this at a yard sale for 10 bucks and sold it for $69.99 plus shipping. Flipping it good. He is our retail arbitrage bolo finder. He goes into Ross, Burlington, um, different places like that. And he has also been buying, uh, what are they called? The Not pallets, but yeah, lost cargo pallets. But they're, it's lost cargo. Amazing. Um, and he also finds stuff at yard sales. In, but his channel is awesome. Definitely give him a sub. He got these cleats, speaking of. Uh, retail arbitrage at Ross. And he ended up taking a best offer of $190 because they are a smaller size. They only sold for $190. <laughs> like, what do they sell for if they're a good size? Uh, he paid $19.99 for those at Ross. The next item he sold is this scope. It's a Bosch and Lom black waterproof rifle scope made in Japan. He got this at a yard sale for $1 and sold this for $160 plus shipping. These boots are Macy Bean, and they are bone cognate crazy horse leather. I don't know. But these came from a lost cargo pallet. He paid $30 for those, and they sold for a best offer of uh, $200. Lola's Trunk Treasures. She does not have a YouTube channel. This is her eBay store. Lots of cool finds. I will have it linked down below. You can check her out there. And she sold this stocking. It's a 1999 gold collection, Dimensions. Anytime you can find Dimensions gold collection, definitely pick it up. Um, I do have a video on cross-stitch kits to be on the lookout for. If you guys would like to check that out, it is under this. It's on this channel. She got this at an antique mall for $3 and sold it for $79.99 free shipping. These are Goosebumps paperback books. She did pay up for these. She paid $2 a piece for them and $48, $2, you know, that's almost a hundred bucks. Um, and she sold these for a best offer of 115. So she pretty much broke even after fees and free shipping. But if you can get Goosebumps for like a quarter or 50 cents a piece, you know, or get a whole lot for a low price, they are definitely a bolo, but uh, just be careful you don't pay too much. The next item is this Lennox Happy Birthday Express train car. And she sold this for $70 best offer and she paid $10 for it. And I'm sorry, I'm not sure where she got that, but really cool little piece. I always look up Lennox. Some of it can do really well. Gail's New and Vintage. Again, no YouTube channel, just an awesome eBay store. And 
Here are some of the items that she has available. And she sold this Levi's uh, jacket. It's a jean jacket. She got this at a th uh, thread up box for $3 and sold it for $47.99 plus shipping. She is also over on Etsy, Gail's new and vintage over there also. She got this Avon teddy bear. So it's by Avon, you guys. It's Kirby teddy bear from 1983. She got it at an estate sale for free and sold it for $49.99 plus shipping. This is a vintage Sunbeam Radiant Toaster. She got this also from an estate sale for free and sold it for $89.99 free sh or, uh, plus shipping on Etsy. A Little Bluebird also has an amazing eBay store. She does some YouTube but hasn't done anything lately. So we are going to link her uh, eBay store down below for you guys to check out. Lots of really, really cool items. I like how she sources just different things from all categories. And she sold um, this Design a House building set, Goodwill, $3.99, and took a best, I'm sorry, she sold it for $97.69. And this is just a really, really cool thing here. I definitely would have picked that up. The next item she sold is these Ralph Lauren throw pillows. She got these at the Goodwill bins for a quarter a piece and she sold these on best offer for $65. And she sold these O'Neill Element motocross motorcycle off-road riding boots. She got these at a yard sale for $5 and took a best offer of $90 on those. Check them out. All right, the next item comes from Be Carried Away, and she is a big money bolo finder also with an amazing YouTube channel. She specializes in high-end vintage clothing, but also sells a lot of vintage items and has a very um, great skill of titles and descriptions. So if you're looking for keywords and how to create better listings, definitely check her out. I am very... Um, that is not my, uh, I'm not the best at keywords, especially on clothing. Clothing gets me. It's tough and she's really good at it. So she sold these McCoy pottery mushroom canisters. She got these at the Goodwill for $7.99 and sold these for $70.19 plus shipping. She also sold this vintage cast iron patrol motorcycle toy metal police car or motorcycle. And she got this at the Salvation Army for $2.99 and sold it for $47.99. This is a vintage 70s mod made trench coat, women's size small, brown cream, spread collar, and hood belt. So see what I mean? Like all those important key words that I would not know what they mean. But this thing is awesome. And she got this at a garage sale for $1 and sold it for $49.00 plus shipping. And there is the inner tag. So really awesome bolos. Thank you guys so much for being here. Let me know in the comments, what was your favorite bolo and leave me an emoji of a hat if you made it this far. And if you would like to join memberships to be in a video like this, you can check out the link down below, or there should be a join button. Like I think it's by like the like and the subscribe. But sometimes you can't see it. So if you want to join, awesome. If not, no worries. Just keep coming and watching for free and learning about bolos. This is an educational channel. I love to share bolo items. Um, I do have category videos where I pick a category and I break it down and I research it for you guys. I have probably getting close to 150 of those. And there is a playlist if you want to check that out. I have my what solds. I am a full-time reseller. This is my job. Um, I started YouTube about three years ago to learn and help others learn. And it's been a fun process and I am really enjoying it. And I just thank all of you for being a part of the channel, either being a member or just watching or what, whatever, contributing to my Facebook group. I just thank you all so much. There are links down below to things that I use like List Perfectly and WorthPoint. I'm going to go on Whatnot. Um, if you want to join those things, if you're not selling on Poshmark and Mercari and you're thinking about it, there's links down below for that where you get um, a coupon if you use my link and then I get a coupon. So 
if you want to help me out and use those, that would be awesome. Again, thank you guys so much. There's going to be a video popping up here and here, a video down below and a subscribe button. If you hit that bell, that will turn on notifications and you will get an alert every time I post a new video. So if you want to see more of Bolo Buddies, um, click that bell. Thanks for watching.